This time next year, I'll perform a one-armed aerobatics routine. Sounds like quite a tall order. Well, it might be a bit tricky, but, you know, it's, <laughs> and the idea of it scares me. And I think that's part of the reason why I want to do it. Have you always been like that? No, I was never like that. I was super, super shy. I was um, really bullied at school because I had really bad acne and I had a real bad time. And my only escapism was motorbikes. And I, I got a motorbike when I was a young boy. And I was out on my motorbike one day. Oh, look, there you are on your bike. Oh, there I am. This is my escapism from the bullies. But on one of my days out on the motorbike, I had a, a collision with another guy that I didn't know was there. And he tried to do a jump over the top of me. His foot peg ripped my arm off there and then. I was so badly mutilated. Oh, my goodness. And you survived. Yeah, but, you know, there's always a silver lining. Because they had to pump me with loads and loads of medication, antibiotics and loads and loads of drugs to keep infection at bay. Right. Well, all those, that medication just cleared just up my cleared acne. It. But I looked in that mirror and I was so overjoyed that my spots had gone <laughs> that I wasn't bothered I'd lost the right arm. Are you serious? <laughs> I know, it's, I know it sounds really strange, but we all have this capacity to see what's the good. The positive. In, and positive Absolutely. in what at first might seem like a bad situation. Come on, I know this sounds ridiculous to ask you. If, if someone was to say, Stephen, we can go back, you can be that boy and have your arm back, would you? No, I think I'd go through it all again. Because it, it sounds really weird, but it was a good experience. It was a life-changing experience. Yeah. I was 18 at the time. I feel like I was reborn on that day. So every 19th of April, I have a one-arm day. And it's... <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, one-arm day, but it, I'm not really celebrating losing an arm. I'm celebrating being alive. I love it. But then I want to deal with my fears. So what are your fears? I would fear my fear of flying. And oh. I saw this article one day and it said, it said, flying scholarship for disabled people. Oh. Mm, I thought, that could cure me of my fear of flying. <laughs> so I applied for it. And I became a private pilot. And I'll fly with my own prosthetic arm. So, flying aerobatics, it's the next step. Tell me about that. I'm petrified of aerobatics. <laughs> I really don't like it. I do feel I'm crazy sometimes, you know. Aerobatics, I don't like it, I don't want to do it. But it's, I reckon it'll make me a safer pilot and I can deal with any eventuality if I know how to get out of those situations. How are you going to do it? So, we have techniques for training. I don't know what they are yet. But quite fancy doing a loop-the-loop. -loop. I think that's going to be really challenging and really yeah. exciting. You've got to do a lot of adjustment of your throttle when you do that. I don't know whether I'm, I'm psychologically ready, but we'll find out. Well, you are now, because this is the first day of your journey, because yeah, sure. you've come here and you've told all of us that you're going to do it. Well, Stephen, really good luck. Thank you. By this time next year, you will have performed a one-armed aerobatic routine. I will. Oh, my goodness. Good luck, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you. So will Stephen have performed a one-armed aerobatic routine? Let's find out. last year so much. I'm so excited to see how this year panned out. But first of all, I need to know, did you perform your one-armed aerobatic routine? Yes, I did it. Yes! I've... OK, let's have a look at how you did it when you took to the skies. I think my first challenge is I need my 3D plastic prosthetic arm made. A bit like Christmas is this, really. So any movement that I push my body and pull, pushes and pulls the throttle of the aircraft. It's the first day of my aerobatics training. I'm on my way to the aircraft right now to settle myself in. I'm very anxious, you know, or do you really want to throw yourself upside down in an aircraft? It's not what you'd think of doing. We could totally lose control in the air, we could hit the ground. If I thought about that, I probably wouldn't do it. So which manoeuvre is the best manoeuvre to try to start with so we're not sort of like throwing myself right into it and scared life out of me? Uh, a loop, I think. OK, before we do anything, I'm just going to adjust this. 
rather than the physical. I think the majority is like a, a mental blockage, and I'm always nervous. You're there to help me if I go wrong, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Backing up a bit. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, that was awful, wasn't it? <laughs> oh. I didn't like the feeling, I really didn't. It was scary. I'm not looking forward to this. I've just been told that we're going to be doing spins. Uh, I don't really fancy doing spins. Oh, 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 OK, it's probably a good time to stop. That went wrong a few times. The aircraft flips out and it does something you just don't expect, which I tell you is really pretty scary. That routine might only take five minutes. Five minutes, but it's taken me a year almost to perfect. It's week 41 and I'm here today to complete my pledge, which is a one-armed aerobatics routine. It looks like the weather's good enough, so it looks like it's a go. I'm excited about doing it, so I'm going to get my kit together and I'm going to get in the aircraft. Let's see what happens. Everything looks OK. Yep. It's a challenge. Got a pretty stiff crosswind by lots of things. Every time I start to do my aerobatics, I, I feel apprehensive. A bit bumpy, yeah, so bring it round. But with nerves, that's, that's good, keeping on my toes. And you've just got to stick with anything, you know, if you want to do it, just do it. And that's 2,000 feet. Happy with that height. Here we go. Full power. You really feel the, the G-force on the first loop. And you look backwards and you can see the ground. Oh, what a rush! What a rush! Wow! Oh, my mouth's gone dry. There we go. Up and roll. Straight into your soul turn. Into the soul turn. Full power. And I keep pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I keep doing it. Oh, I'm feeling a bit sickly now. I'm not proving it to anybody else. I'm proving it to me. Yeah, that's nice. It's liberating. And anything is possible. And there you are. Wow. You're an aerobatic pilot. <laughs> It was scary, you know, it, it really was scary. Peter, you are uh, Stephen's instructor. I am, yes. Um, could you just explain to us how difficult those manoeuvres are to somebody that's got both their arms? Some of, um, some of the manoeuvres, particularly loops, you've got quite strong uh, stick forces and it's very easy, it's much easier to actually use two arms than one. But he had an excellent feel for the aircraft and you've seen the result. You're very motivated. I am motivated. Yeah. Which I'm is only great... competing against myself. Yeah. And that's the best person to compete against. What's next? Well, next, I'm writing my book. You'll love the title. I'm definitely buying that. No, I'm in trying. <laughs> <laughs>